Thank you guys. Uh, these are the uh, last days of Foundation as a band. And this is our last time here in Seattle. And this fucking show has been crazy so far. And it's been amazing. We see a lot of our friends and sons and faces from here. So thank you guys so fucking much for coming out tonight. I'm traveling really far away. Thank you, Zach, Matt, Brian, for being the best at this show. Thanks to everyone here in the VR project shows happen here. They take a risk every time they let all you crazy eyed assholes in here. So thank you to them. I uh I feel like now it's like the end of the day so I can share some anecdotes with you. That last song is called Heartless. And when the band wrote it I came to practice they were like, yo check out the song we just wrote. Let's tell us what you think. They ran through it. And I turned to them. And I go, I fucking hated it. I hate that song. And they're like, why? And I was like, I don't know, it just seems so fucking heavy and angry and like resentful and spiteful, just the tone of the song. And they're like, yeah, it should. And that was something that I was really fucking scared to confront. Because when we started this band, I was like, I wanna get up there and I wanna fucking be like kind of positive and fucking have a message and fucking voice my fucking anger about the world. Not just about shit in my own personal life. I feel like that gets done to death sometimes. I wanted to try a new angle, maybe, or fucking try to reestablish an old angle, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So I was really scared because that song came at me and it forced me to confront something that I wasn't comfortable with. That's an extremely deep and personal song for me. It is not about coming into a room like this and flexing your arms and beating up the people next to you and trying to be the toughest monster by the fucking That song is just about being honest. Being honest with your fucking self, being honest with your friends and your loved ones. And I say this all the fucking time, but I fucking mean it. Being honest is the hardest fucking thing you could be. Yeah.
that song, uh, that song actually kind of was born from my time in Oregon as well. I spent like a abnormal amount of time there meeting people and talking to them and hearing about their personal lives. And for the most part, some of them were pretty fucking nice people. Pretty okay. Pretty fucking normal. But there was a percentage of people that I would meet that were like the most sick, twisted fucking individuals. And I don't mean that like in a fucking cool, hot topic way. I mean, they had some fucking serious problems that they couldn't recognize as problems. They would sit there and tell me stories about their fucking friends overdosing because of fucking drug addiction. They would tell me stories about their fucking friends shooting up and they getting some fucking crazy infection and having to fucking lose that limb to it. And I would sit there and I would listen to this shit and my fucking mind would be blown because I cannot believe that people go through their lives every single day like this and they're surrounded by people who let them go through their lives every single day like that. And then they meet me and I tell them something like, oh, I'm straight edge, I don't fucking drink or do drugs. And they look at me like I'm a fucking insane person. What do you do with your time? What do you do for fun? I don't get fucked up and I don't go fucking dying early. That's what I do for fucking fun. This is a cover song that we've played one time. Normally we would play it again. But our fucking friend Mosh from Japan emailed us and he was like, will you guys please play this song? We're coming all the way to Seattle. There's a whole fucking crew of kids from Japan. So fucking make some noise. They're all coming to play. We're going to play on Sunday and we're going to play on Monday night as well. We're going to see that band play. This song, Mosh is going to sing, and you guys are going to fucking sing along to it. And even if you don't know the lyrics, you're going to learn them really fucking quick because it's one word. Mosh. Right best. Unite. 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 Unite.
check, 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 Thanks all the bands I played, Cold Truth, The Chain, Protesters, <laughs> Misery from California, <laughs> the fucking little tip from right here, and a uh, special thank you to the festival and the shoes for equipment. Uh, so, I always I talk about this a lot, but when I first got into hardcore, like, my fucking favorite kind of music was Youth Crew, because the very, very, very first hardcore band I ever heard was the Gorilla Biscuits. So I really wanted to listen to them, they fucking listen to them, they were really fucking this. And then I found out that there were bands that were actively playing that music, or at least I thought they were. I was like, oh fuck, this is Band in My Eyes, a 10 year fight, fucking fast break and shit. But they were all fucking breaking up when I wanted to see them, and they weren't fucking coming all the way to Atlanta to play, which sucked. But from that, I found out some core themes in the music. One was always about fucking being true to yourself. That is one above all. Don't fucking worry about anybody. Don't worry about the fucking man standing next to you. Don't worry about what your fucking parents think, what the church thinks, what the fucking school thinks. You do you until the fucking end. The second thing that I learned is that when you can't turn to those fucking things because they've betrayed you in your life, sometimes all you have is your fucking friends. And those friends become your fucking family. And there's nothing more devastating than watching one of your fucking family members get stabbed in the back with a knife from a fucking fellow brother. It was, it's the worst shit. There's a lot of songs about it, and you should fucking check them out. And when it came time for Foundation to write their fucking song about friendship, I couldn't think of a time when I was like, yeah, I watched my fucking friend get stabbed in the back. It seems so crazy. And I thought about this for a long time, and I kept thinking about it, and like, you know, there've been some fucking stupid wrongs and bullshit like that, but it didn't really fucking matter because we were still tight, we were still close. And that's when I realized that the person that had been stabbing all their fucking friends in the back was me. And I wasn't fucking putting a, putting a knife there because I fucking didn't trust them or I didn't fucking like them or I was trying to fucking get something from them. It's because I was very selfish with my feelings. I needed everybody to fucking be on my schedule. I needed them to be there when I fucking needed to be there for them. Or for, for me. And I was never fucking there for them. I'd always come with some fucking flimsy excuse like, I can't fucking go out or I need to stay home or I'm not feeling well. It was fucking bullshit, and I watched a lot of my fucking friends go through some really fucking tough hardships in their life, like losing fucking close family members and their friends, and watching fucking people fall around around them, and I didn't fucking do anything. I just stood there and watched, shrugged my shoulders and said that sucked. I work on that fucking thing every fucking day. I'm sure everyone here has got a story like that, where they fucking felt like a piece of shit towards someone they fucking loved and cared about. I go through that shit with my fucking own parents. I love them, and I fucking push them away constantly. And I'm working on trying to make that better. And this song is kind of the first step in that road. This song is called Anthem for Redemption. <laughs> Wow. 
yours. It always has been. It always fucking will be. So are you gonna let someone pass through those fucking doors?
got a closing statement. I feel like I'm gonna talk a little fucking sick. This is the last time here. Uh, I saw some things on the Rainfest fucking thread blog Facebook page that I see a lot at fucking shows where I live and fucking shows everywhere else about this fucking sector of kids who think that shows should fucking be dangerous, man. Kids should fucking be scared to fucking come to shows. They might get stabbed. Somebody might shoot them for fucking coming here. And guess what? I love the fucking beautiful violence that is coming to a show that is stage diving on top of your fucking friends. It's fucking punching your friends square in the jaw on accident because you don't feel like if you sit still, like you feel like if you sit still, you're gonna fucking explode because this music means so much to you because it moves you. And you're gonna keep the fucking blood coming to you. I do that and I love that. That being said, you should fucking feel like you're in danger for just fucking being here. For being fucking new to this fucking show, for being just a little bit different, for fucking being a girl, for fucking being gay, whatever. The very first show I ever went to, I was a pretty fucking normal kid. I was wearing ska pants and fucking suspenders. I didn't know. I was listening to fucking lag wagon. But I went to the show. Everybody has gone to that phase, and if you hadn't, you're a fucking liar. I went to the show. And I got fucking beat up for being there. I was the new face in the crowd, and somebody thought that they were going to be fucking King Hardcore, and that they were going to ruin this for me, they were going to take it away. And it fucking killed me. I went home, and I was like, I don't think maybe I belong there. I've been looking for fucking somewhere, everyone wants to beat me up, everyone fucking calls me. I'm fucking gay for and all that other shit. They don't fucking like me. They fucking think that they can fucking bring me down and all this other bullshit. They're fucking trying to do all this shit. I can go here, man, because they're fucking accepting. They'll fucking take anybody in, because this is a fucking family. So I went to the show, got beat up, and I went home, and I fucking felt sour, and I had a chip on my shoulder. And I said, this sucks. But I kept fucking listening to those records, and I kept fucking buying them, and I kept reading the message behind all that fucking music that those bands were playing. And it fucking inspired me. I fucking got up and I said, fuck that shit. That guy's the asshole. I'm the fucking one who cares. I'm the one who's going to the show. I'm the one fucking buying all the fucking merch of the tour and bands. I'm the one showing up, fucking going crazy, and putting his own body at risk when these bands play. That asshole standing against the wall, judging everyone. So I kept fucking going back to shows, and I kept going back. Fucking scared I was gonna beat up, but I didn't fucking care, because I fucking love this with everything that I am. That motherfucker was gone, like six weeks later. This was fucking like 14 years ago. I'm so fucking here, so fuck that asshole. Don't let anybody fucking ruin this for you. And if they try to, shut up the fucking door. I love you guys, Thank you.